Hosea chapter 7 When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was uncovered, and the wickedness of Samaria. For they have committed fraud. A thief comes in. A band of robbers takes spoil outside. They do not consider in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own deeds have surrounded them. They are before my face. They make a king glad with their wickedness, and princes with their lies. They are all adulterers, like an oven heated by a baker. He ceases stirring the fire after kneading the dough, until it is leavened. In the day of our king, princes have made him sick, inflamed with wine. He stretched out his hand with scoffers. They prepared their heart like an oven. While they lie in wait, their baker sleeps at night. In the morning it burns like a flaming fire. They are all hot like an oven, and have devoured their judges. All their kings have fallen. None among them calls upon me. Ephraim has mixed himself among the peoples. Ephraim is a cake unturned. Aliens have devoured his strength, but he does not know it. Yes, gray hairs are here and there on him, yet he does not know it. And the pride of Israel testifies to his face, but they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without sense. They call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. Wherever they go, I will spread my net on them. I will bring them down like birds of the air. I will chastise them according to what their congregation has heard. Woe to them, for they have fled from me. Destruction to them because they have transgressed against me. Though I redeem them, yet they have spoken lies against me. They did not cry out to me with their heart when they wailed upon their beds. They assemble together for grain and new wine. They rebel against me. Though I disciplined and strengthened their arms, yet they devise evil against me. They return but not to the Most High. They are like a treacherous bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the cursings of their tongues. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Hosea chapter 8 Set the trumpet to your mouth! He shall come like an eagle against the house of the Lord, because they have transgressed my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel will cry to me, My God, we know you! Israel has rejected the good. The enemy will pursue him. They set up kings, but not by me. They made princes, but I did not acknowledge them. From their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves, that they might be cut off. Your calf is rejected, O Samaria. My anger is aroused against them. How long until they attain to innocence? For from Israel is even this. A workman made it, and it is not God. But the calf of Samaria shall be broken to pieces. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. The stalk has no bud. It shall never produce meal. If it should produce, aliens would swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now they are among the Gentiles, like a vessel in which is no pleasure. For they have gone up to Assyria like a wild donkey alone by itself. 
Ephraim has hired lovers. Yes, though they have hired among the nations, now I will gather them, and they shall sorrow a little because of the burden of the king of princes. Because Ephraim has made many altars for sin, they have become for him altars for sinning. I have written for him the great things of my law, but they were considered a strange thing. For the sacrifices of my offerings, they sacrifice flesh and eat it. But the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. For Israel has forgotten his maker and has built temples. Judah also has multiplied fortified cities. But I will send fire upon his cities and it shall devour his palaces.